Hello, this is the Ripper 999. I'm gonna show a little bit about this tool, this basic bot that I've been messing with yesterday and today. Seems like there's not a lot of information. Some people asked about even how to use it. A lot of people don't seem to understand or have even used it. So, well, I'll share what I know about it so far. Um, so, this game's Ninja Spirit. Uh, I'm going to test this on a boss. I guess I should probably f get his health. Um, do that. Alright. Okay, so that should be much less health. I wonder if that's his health. Is he dead? Yeah, he is dead. Eh, this is probably his health. Alright. So, <clears throat> with this basic bot here, the idea is that there's all of these addre there's addresses here that you can set. You want to make sure first that you're in the right memory domain. In this case, for, ter for TG16, it's uh, main memory. You want to make sure the data size is correct. Here, I'm just, you know, one byte. Turbo while botting is default. So, there's a couple things, a couple oddities I've noticed about this basic bot. It doesn't really like it when you change different things within, uh, like in various windows. Like if you're changing branches or if you're um, changing like the slots or if you're changing like the, uh, the conditions. It just doesn't really seem to work right. It may just me not understanding how to use it correctly, but... I just get a new one every time I have like new settings and that seems to work correctly. So I'll put in the same address as for this boss. And I want to have it as um, <clears throat> less than and best. If you have best, it's going to decrement as this main value uh, gets lower. I imagine if it was greater than, it would be, uh, you know, it would, as the value gets larger, it would take that as the best attempt. This slot here is basically the save state. But if you are using Test Studio, it's going to uh, m map to the branch number right here. Which, speaking of that, I need to make a new branch. Normally, let me find out what, exactly when this boss dies, just so I can give you an idea of what I've been doing here. Oops. Yeah, you want to make the branch frame near where the boss actually starts, or near where you're going to try using the bot. Where's two? Here we go. He has health going down. That is his health. Okay. So this is probably the exact earliest frame you can use the bomb to hit him. Pretty sure that's what we did. So I'm going to leave that here and start this branch here. I'll just do update to get the branch frame like, um, right, uh, right after I use the first bomb. <clears throat> so there's no... 
Um, so there's no randomness. So the first hit's always going to get in. So I'm kind of like getting a leg up on it. So it'll be less attempts to get a better attempt. So that's that. Let me find out when he dies. Okay. Oh, he dies really fast. I don't know if this will be a good test as an improvement. <clears throat> But you can see it in action at least. So I'm going to try setting the frame to go to here. Actually, two frames before. 10407, which will be. Um, I can't do math. 44 frames. So in the basic bot over here, instead of end after, I'm going to put in 44 frames. Because that's the range I'm going to be looking for. And let's see. So now, let's look at some of these controls here. Sometimes different input like that you wouldn't think would work may actually work. Because I, I was just putting very low values for some of these other inputs. And weirdly enough, he fired in the wrong direction, and the boss died sooner, even though he didn't hit the boss. So sometimes doing things that are unintuitive may result in faster times. And the reason it ended up being I was investigating it is because um, th you can't have too many sprites on the, fr on the uh, same screen. So when he shoots off, he's actually kind of putting in a delay so that he can hit the boss sooner and so that was what was going on but so in light of that I'm gonna have some unusual input here very low 0.1 which is um, a tenth of a percent because I'm not expecting those to really give anything good unless it's a you know some freak event like before Start, I'm not going to use. Up, I want almost all the time. Put that 95. And two, button two is going to be the bomb. Now, I've played with this already, so I already know that something around 40 to 50 percent is about what I'm looking for. Because in this game, if you have it all the way 100, it doesn't work. It, you can't, like, kill shit with it. Um, let's see. So, up here. Control. That's right. I don't have any tie breaks. I imagine what you could use that for would be if you had ammo. And you want to see if you can decrease the amount of ammo that you use and have a fast time. Uh, okay, so another thing to know about here with the frames is that it's going to run 44 frames in this every single time, even if it hits this sooner. I would like that to be an option in this basic bot, but uh, it's not. So it's just going to run 44 every single time. And I'll, I'll let you show, see it in action here. Oh, one other thing before it actually will work correctly here. So let me show you what happens if you don't set it to record. It's always just going to do the same input. Okay, for, let me select the correct slot here. Slot 8. Run. See how it's always, the input's the same? What happens is that it's actually just finding the first input, and it's considering that the best. And it's right. It is the best of what it's seeing. However, it's just doing the same input. Well, the reason why it's doing the same input is because you don't have it in record mode. So if you press Q, which is mine, you can see this little uh, movie is in record mode. Now, if you click Run... 
he'll start doing different things. See, see here? A lot of ups, a lot of twos, and a lot of different positions. So I'm gonna clear this so you can kind of see it run down better, better values. Okay, let's start 36, 18, 15, six. And this is gonna run faster the less stuff you have running in BizHawk. So if you have a lot of watches, it's gonna run slower. Oh look, three. That's a better uh, value than I had before. But it'll, that should be a one frame improvement right there over the original. Because the bombs do three damage per frame. But as you can see, it's just gonna keep running and doing different uh, random values. You can kind of stop it if you notice that, you know, maybe what he's, you know, you don't, you actually don't want left at all. You know, you can change it in the middle. It's really no need for that. Down, you don't really need. Maybe this is too high. You may want to tweak that. Then you can just start running again. But you can see how it got a one frame improvement. That's kind of good. I'm not going to knock that. But I was running this for thousands of times on another boss. I think like 12,000 times. And I was able to find a, uh, like a 17 frame improvement. And then when I was examining what was going on, I tweaked it a little bit more because I noticed a bad input in there. And I was able to save a further two frames. So this is a fairly useful tool. But as I was saying, if you want to switch, you know, you want to just close it out. Now, if you want to save, stop it, and then do play. And it'll stop there. There is some oddities I noticed when you do the play. Because it won't, sometimes it won't stop on the frame that you would expect it to. Like I specified 44 frames and from 63, that should be uh, 07, like 407. But you see the frame as 10, 4, 10, three more. So the values may not be the same. But once you've played that through, make sure to update that branch so it saves. And don't forget to remove the movie from the record mode. You can see the little uh, the play symbol down here. Movies in playback mode. And that's 